Whoo, look at that sunshine. So it's not professional dissatisfaction so much as I made a decision that my ego just kind of hates me for. This is part two. <laughs> Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeffo. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. Folks, I don't know nothing. I'm just a dude working to evolve as a filmmaker, as a writer, poet, and human being. That's it. I am grateful that you are here with me on this sunny and really relatively cool morning. The afternoon's getting so hot. Got close to 90 yesterday, which I know that's not really, really hot. First summer we were here, we were in triple digits. Man, it's a beautiful morning. I have some uh, gear coming in. Oh, wow, this is... Right. I have some gear coming in that's gonna help me show you guys a little bit more of the ride. If you're watching the video version, if you're listening to the audio version, it's gonna sound the same. <laughs> hey folks, thank you so much for being on the ride with me this morning. Thank you so much for hanging with me on Monday. As I was talking through this idea of self-actualization and professional dissatisfaction that, uh, hey, good morning, my friend Brandon was asking me about, he asked me to explore these ideas. And I had an aha moment as I was blabbing on and on too much. Hey, good morning. As I was blabbing on and on too much on Monday. So what I figured, so we'll do a quick review of what we did on Monday, and then we'll get into uh, kind of what the aha moment was that I had with you guys while you were there with me. So I appreciate you being there with me on Monday. Appreciate you being here today. So on Monday, I made some joke or tried to make a joke. A lot of the jokes aren't really funny on these episodes, but I enjoy them. <laughs> They got heart, <laughs> as my friend Luke would say about website design when, uh, ah, that's another story. So we talked a little bit about golden age fallacy, and that is that people perceive that another time would be better than the time we're in. Usually this means like over like big periods of time. So like people today are thinking that, oh, well, a hundred years ago, it would have been so great, blah, blah, blah. And of course that may or may not be true depending on uh, depending on who you are. <laughs> 100 years ago, a lot of things were different in our country, that's for sure. So we got into that and then, uh, then we started taking apart uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, which evidently is quite contested in the psychological community, as it is not very scientific, evidently. Hey, good morning on your left. Of course, I don't know anything about that because I'm not a psychologist. <laughs> I'm a bicyclologist. <laughs> I'm barely a bicyclologist, but I do love riding a bike. What do you love doing? What's your ride? What is your bicycle? What is the thing that you love to do that brings you joy on your daily daily? I'm so grateful that uh, I have a day job because that gives me an excuse to ride a bike twice a day there and back. <laughs> So real quickly, we'll go through the Maslow stuff again because I learned something very important about myself because I was talking last on Monday about how can I be in several of these places at one time? And I realized, well, I think I know where part of my hangup is anyway. Hey, good morning, coming around your left. So we've got the psychological needs, which is the basic needs for food, shelter, water, clothing, the basic, basic needs. And then we get into the safety needs. Woo, let's do it, man. No, oh, I got all my lunch in my backpack today on the little red bastard. This is looking good. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the 
They're building a new little park there. I think Rotary is sponsoring that park. It's really nice. Hey. So the safety needs, those are basically, we want things to stay the same, or we want to know that we are going to maintain our shelter, food, and water, our basic needs. We know that those are gonna get met. We want to protect those. And then we get into the belonging phase, and this is uh, having relationships with other people, being parts of communities. And then we get into the self-esteem phase, and this is the phase that really, I kind of, I didn't explain it really well last time, because I don't. <laughs> That's the, if you're here for a great explanation of something, I am so sorry. You are going to be let down over and over again. It's not how we do it here on the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. We explore ideas as we're enjoying the beautiful mornings, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we get into the self-esteem Arab area of Maslow's chart, and that's talking about ego and status, like our need to feel important within a, in the community, our need to feel important about ourselves, feel good about ourselves. And then we get into self-actualization, which is that higher level of kind of putting everything together. And that is, you know, we are using our abilities, we are evolving our abilities. Um, so we are evolving as people and in our life work, as opposed to our job work necessarily, um, we are leveraging that toward our betterment and also, or therefore, the betterment of the world around us. Hey, good morning, brother. So as I was talking through all that, too long, I was giving examples from my life. If you want to go listen to the other one, you can. We can get just right to the point on this one, though. Oh, look at that, they're gonna go do some fishing. Hey, good morning. So what I realized, and what I was having a hard time, because I was trying to define what it meant to be, hey, good morning, to be a professional, and uh, what I was meaning by professional, and I was getting it all wrong because I was talking about the wrong thing. It's not the professional work that I'm doing right now that I have any problem with at all. So why do sometimes I feel professional, hey, good morning, dissatisfaction? Well, as, I was, as we were going through the discussion on Maslow, what I realized was it's my ego. <laughs> and not the good part of ego that helps me evolve, but it's my, it's my need for status. See, when I was in Alaska, I had a lot of status because I helped run a news website, which means that you know, people needing to get news about an event on campus or uh, news about a cool thing that's going on. You know, I helped people get that news out and they appreciated it. I had a role in a community and I helped shape the way that we present information to our community, to the public. So I had a really high level responsibility there. Hey, are you really? Poor guy. See, we all get blissed out in the sunshine. I get it. I do wish that people in motorized vehicles <laughs> wouldn't, would pay attention. Golly, I don't want to die on a bicycle. Well, actually, I guess dying on a bicycle wouldn't be the worst thing. I don't want it. I, want it. I don't want it to be because I get hit, though. I want it to be because I fall over dead. Wouldn't that be awesome? Get to die doing what you love. <laughs> Mark Marin has this thing about I'm not gonna get into that. So anyway, what I realized during the discussion on Monday with you was that it really is my ego that gets in the way and where what I'm calling professional dissatisfaction is that my ego says you have to be able to provide the same kind of work that you did up in Anchorage. But the thing is, folks, when we moved here, I made a decision to not be in a strategic role, to not be in a, uh, a high-level role where I'm managing people. Managing, I didn't manage anybody, man. I got to facilitate the beautiful folks that worked with me. And we did great work. Um, I was really proud of the work we did up there. So what I realized on Monday, my aha was, I love the work that I'm doing right now because it's really challenging. 
um, the photography and videography stuff, it still scares the poo out of me to have to do that, to have to record our CIO. He's a busy dude. I want to get it the first time so that we don't have to say, oh, sorry, Max, you know, we had to get it again. You know, we got to get with you again. We got to get on your schedule again. I know you're busy. Uh, do you mind wearing the same thing? <laughs> I don't ever want to have to do that. So uh, my professional dissatisfaction, I have no professional dissatisfaction, basically anymore. So Brandon, thank you for asking me to explore this because it's really helped me reframe my in what I actually intended at the very beginning. Hey, good morning. kind of from the beginning when we moved here. Thank you. <laughs> so when we moved to Idaho, I knew that I didn't want to do that. Now, I didn't know what my thing was going to be once we got the house rebuilt because that was kind of the, was kind of the idea was that I want to get a specialist job. I want to be a writer, videographer. I didn't even consider myself a photographer at all back then. So I wasn't even thinking that I could have been a photographer. So that's something that's developed. Again, one of the great things that has come out of the current day job that I have. Oh, the ravens are crazy again this morning. All right, guys. Hey, good morning. So I was super excited to make that discovery, to be able to reaffirm, reaffirm? Yeah, to reaffirm the decision that I made, which is I wanna be a specialist position again where I have to learn a thing really, really well. And uh, I think that my video, my visual storytelling skills have gotten a lot better. Obviously this podcast is not a representation of that. I don't intend for it to be, it's just a recording of it. It's one of the things that I've learned working at the university also here at Boise State was that uh, there are multiple modalities of video. You know, you can see like a film and that's a particular way of being. A documentary is a recording of a thing toward telling a particular story. I mean, in the same way that a story, a film is. But then there's like, I just run the video and throw that up so that you can Right along with me if you like the visual representation of that. Hey, good morning. And we're probably going to get into the... Oh, no. It's just yard work. Yard work. Campus work. What do you call that? They do a nice job of keeping the campus looking nice all the time. It does require a lot of noise. <laughs> that is the other side of it. You want a nice looking campus? It's going to cost you noise. <laughs> so, uh... In the words of Inigo Montoya, I only work for Vizzini to pay the bills. <laughs> There's not a lot of money in revenge. I'm not into the revenge, that's for sure. But basically, what I'm saying is I'm grateful for the day job. I love the ways that it challenges me. No, it does not challenge me. And no, I do not have the overall impact I used to have in the same way. It's just in a very different way. Hey, good morning right behind you. So how's your daily ride? How does this work for you? Are you seeking a professional career or have you made decisions that that push you toward some other goal? See, that was kind of my thing when we moved to Idaho was I had the opportunity to kind of drop out of a career or keep going with a career. And it's like, man, I've wanted to be an artist all my life. Why am I not doing that? Why am I not pursuing that 100%? Why am I pursuing a career, which I loved up in Anchorage, but yeah, I mean, the poetry suffered, man. The graduate work, I didn't do near the, the level of graduate work that I could have if I wasn't working 60 hours a week. Uh, do I regret that? Mm, sometimes, but not really, because the poetry is still there for me. 
but I'm grateful for uh, this revelation, this aha that I had on Monday. So I appreciate you being there with me. I appreciate you being with me today on the ride. Man, I'd love to hear about your ride. Check us out at uh, on Twitter and Instagram, Morning Ride Pod. <laughs> yeah, I know it's horrible, it's horrible, but that's what it is, Morning Ride Pod or morningridepodcast.com. Get in touch with me. I'd love to hear. What is your daily ride? What do you do on the thing? On, what is the thing that you do? What is the, the bicycle that you love getting on? I'd love to hear about it. If there's a way that we could uh, arrange to ride together and talk about it on the podcast, I'd love to do that, man. I've had the opportunity to do that a couple of times. It's super fun to get to ride with people and talk about them, talk about their ride. Hey, folks, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle. And... Uh, Enjoy the ride, because it's the only one we got, man. No, uh, no point in being professionally frustrated when you're really not. <laughs> hey, thanks, folks. Hope you have a great weekend, and uh, I'm looking forward to riding with you again on Monday morning.